always figured I'd go out saving somebody. Hey, no one gets to choose how it happens. The most important thing is that we're here together. Love is a risk. There's always going to be a cost for something. The more you love, the more you risk being hurt. But it's the heartbreaks that make us stronger, isn't it? I want to take a look at Adventure Time Island specials in which Finn meets his mother. This episode shows a fear of loss. Finn's mother, Minerva, is a helper. She fixes people who have been broken, who have been hurt physically. But like most other people, she fell in love. And she had a family, beautiful in its own way. But when she loses that family, her own son, she's left with incomprehensible confusion, pain, and loss. The humans who survived the Mushroom Wars are the ones who took the most precautions. And because of that, they overvalue safety. And they no longer want to take risks. But Adventure Time presents us with a desire to both survive and a desire to grow in each individual. But when the fears and natural instincts of needing to live and survive intertwine with our desires to grow and evolve, then we end up fearing the risk that is needed in order to achieve growth that our souls so desperately yearn for. Finn shows his mother all the harsh and dangerous challenges in his life. Finn in the beginning had no difficulty with physical risk. It was the emotional risk that he needed to take. Finn's fears tied with survival had to be separated from emotional risk needed for development. Separating fears of the ocean from fears of heartbreak. He deals with these things in many ways like escapism. It's through these 10 seasons he overcomes it step by step. Slowly taking those emotional challenges and growing from them, maturing. Finn embraces the adventure without fearing the risk. So many of us waste our lives on the same spot, not willing to let go in order for personal evolution. Betty wasted her life on one man. Finn wasted his life in the pillow world on wanting to go back to Ooh instead of accepting the family that he has. And also Finn waiting to die just to see his best friend in the afterlife. I just kept waiting for the day I'd finally see you again. The people of Adventure Time conquered the challenges of life, giving them an insight on the world or of themselves choosing to develop and fulfill that desire. Loss is a hard thing to comprehend. Many people deal with it in many ways. Finn's dad Martin leaves his loss in the past, to the point where he almost forgets about them. But that loss still has an emotional pull on him. Finn, I'll be back for you. He hasn't found closure, he hasn't fulfilled that desire to grow from his loss. When he's seemingly drunk, he subconsciously wants to connect with Finn again. And even when not drunk, he adopts a son. Carrying the burden of loss. So what do you do in the eyes of loss? What do you do when you are going to be the one who's lost? Betty threw her life away for love for Simon. I spent so much time dedicated to Simon, I'm not sure there's even any me left anymore. But when the love of her life has changed into a man of madness, she dedicates her life to saving Simon because that's all she has left. Betty can't accept loss and change. She tried, but she couldn't bring herself to love the Ice King. The Ice King and Simon are two completely different characters. Ice King suffers from Simon's loss of Betty. The Ice King is just filled with an empty coldness of loneliness that he doesn't even know why he suffers from. But Marceline doesn't just abandon him like Betty. Marceline is patient with the Ice King, and this shows her hope and her purest form of love. Betty was in madness, so she was selfish and didn't want to move on, because just like Ice King, she was empty. But when she gets her sanity back and Simon back, she almost loses Simon again. She lets go of her ego, presenting her with her most honest form of love for Simon wishing for Simon to be safe. Betty loses a part of herself for something bigger than herself, and Simon loses his princess once again. The single body responsible for all this loss and grief and pain and destruction and chaos, the most powerful force in existence on par with love and harmony, Golb, the physical representation of destruction but this destruction is necessary for growth and rebirth. 
We constantly see characters lose a part of themselves in order to become something more. It's evolution, it's a part of life. Golb I would say is the main antagonist of the entire show. Even though we barely see Golb, his essence is constantly present, breaking these characters down in order for them to grow. And I want to take a look at the characters that does this really well. Fern. Fern is literally Finn, but he's rejected because others don't see him as the real Finn. He's forced to find his own identity because of this. But Fern is corrupted by a weapon of destruction, so even when he tries to be himself, he messes everything up. And this confliction makes Fern not know who he is as a hero, going against his very own nature. Fern is lost, and when he becomes something he isn't, he realizes the only way to find his own identity is to become the real Finn. Finn has matured and moved past violence. Fern is equally as mature. The only difference is, Fern is influenced by a weapon of violence. Finn and Fern defeat that monster of violence. But without it, Fern has no physical body. And he dies with a smile on his face, knowing who he is again. He dies not as Fern, but as Finn. Fern took an internal risk in order to fulfill his desire to grow, to know who he is again. Something we all can do, to defeat the corruption within us, but it takes risk, and there's no guarantee we'll make it out alive from that risk. But at the face of our inevitable destruction, we can smile with fulfillment. Finn in the Astro episode learns being born is the precious thing of creation, but it isn't just enough. We have to protect that creation with our limited capacity. Doing our best to stand next to the ones we love and grow as a collective conscious. This is why Bonnebel loves creating life so much. She misses that warm hive mind of life that came with the mother gum. But now as separate beings with our own experiences, we can evolve. Sometimes there are things bigger than us that not even science can make sense of it. Things that we'll never understand. Things out of our control and leave us with sadness. Things that will inevitably kill us. But the best thing we can do is be present with the things and people we still have. Be at peace on how far we've come. And be hopeful for the next stage of change that will come after us. It's sad when a good thing ends, but at least it happened.